Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions makeup tutorial. You guys are probably opening this video like, um, hello, where's your normal setup? So I know that I've been procrastinating a lot on tutorials. That has like not been a secret since I've been doing my channel. And I finally have a space where I can actually put all of my stuff and film. For right now, I'm going to have this backdrop when I am filming tutorials. I got a couple different colors to switch it up. I love my lifestyle or like vanity background too but just for the sake of getting tutorials up for you guys because they are like zoomed in and close I'm gonna have this background for a little bit I really hope that you guys like it um, we worked really hard on like putting everything up and together but yeah lots of tutorials coming your way seriously no excuses now I have everything that I could ever need to be doing tutorials for you guys so this was just a sit down kind of get ready and first impressions tutorial. I really like the way the look came out. It was kind of like spur of the moment. I didn't put any lashes on because I told you guys I want to take a little break from lashes. I need to order some anyway. So, <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys like it. I used a bunch of new and fun stuff and I'm going to start trying to do more first impressions tutorials. I know I haul a lot of stuff for you guys, but I also want you to see it in action. And I know you guys probably want to see it in action. So anyway, sorry that the intro is so long, but really quick before we get started, if you are new, then welcome to my channel. Make sure before you leave, you do not forget to subscribe down below. That way you're notified for future videos from me. I do post twice a week. So I post on Sundays and on Wednesdays and then I throw in some bonus videos in here and there. But yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we are starting now obviously super up close and personal. I've already done my eyebrows as well as my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I've set it. Two things that I actually just received from Oxley and Ole Henderson is the Sheer Transformation Moisturizer, which I have on. And then I also put on their Truth Serum. So these are what I use to kind of prep the skin for today. Overall, my skin looks very hydrated and the moisturizer dried down really fast. It didn't keep my skin like super sticky. So first impressions, I really do like these two items as far as like moisturizing and hydrating my skin. Okay, so we're going to start today by using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Okay, and here's what this looks like. I've already used a couple shades in it, but not enough to like give you guys like a full review. Sorry, I zoomed you guys in a little bit more, but to me this is still like a first impressions because I want to do a more bold look. I'm going to start by kind of mixing these two and putting them in my crease. And when I used this palette the other day, it was kind of like dark and I was in a hurry. So I didn't get like a true test as far as like the colors. Because honestly, I didn't think that these were looking like super pigmented. But now that I'm putting them on my eye, they definitely look pigmented considering they're a transition color. Next, I'm going to be taking this color right here. It's called Butter. So there's that. Just working that into the crease. Again, I do want to do like a pretty bold look today. Like to me so far with like this shade, it's not really like, it's almost like blending out. I don't know if you guys can tell what I'm talking about, but it doesn't look like a whole lot different than the other ones. I'm getting fallout like right here, if you can see. And then I'm gonna take the color right beside of it, Pooter. And hopefully this one, yeah, is going to be a little bit darker just to kind of deepen the crease here. Then I'm going to take Roxanne, which is the shade right here. It's kind of like a burnt red shade. And I am going to kind of put that again right here in the crease. I was expecting this one to be actually like a little bit more red tone. It's looking kind of brown, more on the brown side to me. So I'm going to go in with the color Hunts right here. This just looks a lot more like a fiery red. Yeah, that's definitely more of what I was wanting. But again, as you can see, there is definitely fallout. I know some people, I've saw reviews that there wasn't any fallout, but there is fallout for me. And just so we're clear, I don't mind a ton of fallout if the colors are really pigmented. I'm going to wipe off a little bit of this fallout though underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this brush right here and pick up a little bit more of that Hunt's color and really kind of pack this in right here on the crease. And I'm actually going back in quite a bit and picking up more on my brush because I want this to be more of like a red shade. 
And I think I'm gonna use the blue for this tutorial. I don't think I've ever done a blue look on my channel, but it just looks so pretty. Fingers crossed. I'm going to be taking the blue shade, which is called Twerk right here. Um, not what I was expecting. All right, I put a little bit more of my brush and it's looking a little bit more pigmented, but I know she said that you don't have to use Fix Plus. And so that's what I'm going with. But honestly, this is kind of dry. I mean, here's what it looks like swatched, but that's a pretty generous swatch. Y'all, my palette is kind of dry. <laughs> Not going to lie. I mean, this is workable. I just want it to be like really popping. Which, I mean, it is, but, oh my gosh, this is, <laughs> this right here. I have not saw anyone else have problems with this shade. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spray my brush. Okay, that looks much better. So, I mean, even though they say it's not necessary... To me, especially with this blue shade, I would definitely use a spray. Ooh. All right, that makes me feel better. I was honestly starting to panic. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the shade Jax, which is a little bit of a darker shade. Kind of put this on the outer corner. If you guys hear fireworks in the background, I am filming on 4th of July. Okay, now that we have liner on, I think it's starting to look a little bit better. As far as the palette, I think that the colors look really nice. There's a wide variety of different colors. I wish that this blue would have went on like I feel like I have saw everyone else's go on. I don't know if maybe like I got a dead shade in my palette. But other than that, the other colors are really pigmented. There is fallout, so that's the only downfall to the palette um, so far. But I'll keep testing it out and do an actual full review on the palette. Next, we're trying out the L'Oreal. This is the Lash Paradise, and this has been super hyped to be kind of like a dupe for Too Faced Better Than Sex. That's my favorite mascara, so let's try it out. Here's what the wand looks like. Well, I can definitely see, like, just starting off, kind of, like, some similarities between the two. Obviously, the wand's the same. It is, you know, making my lashes the same thickness as the Too Faced. Yeah. Oh, I like this. I honestly really do. It looks really good. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, kind of maybe when I look down. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is this Lancome Camouflage Concealer. They have a bunch of different colors. They have like a yellow, a peach, a purple, um, and then kind of like a burnt like red color. They're all for color correcting. Super duper pigmented. There is like the green shade. I got these sent to me from Octoly a little while back. And I honestly didn't have a chance yet to try them out. But I'm going to cover up this little bumps. I don't know if you guys can see this one right here, but... It is very red, so just kind of concealing these out. Oh my gosh, that stuff is pigmented. It feels kind of sticky, but not in a bad way. Okay, obviously I put a little bit too much on because I did not realize they were going to be that pigmented. I mean, I knew they were pigmented, but especially like when you blend them out, the color does not go away. <laughs> so there's that. All right, this also was sent to me from Octoly and YSL. I featured this in a haul recently, and this is their Blurring Primer. I'll leave everything we talk about in this video down below, but it has these really pretty like gold flecks in it. So I'm very excited to try this out. Probably pumped out too much, but it has like a gel texture, oh, texture to it. I'm gonna see, cause my pores have been like really bad lately. Oh my gosh, I'm going to try to zoom y'all in. I wonder if it's going to work, if I can zoom y'all in. I'm just going to show you like the left. Oh, and right side of my face. I don't know if you can see, but like this side is the side that I put it on just like right here. As you can see, you can't really see any pores. Pores. My pores. Pores. <laughs> so, oh, I'm really excited about that. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. 
Why have I not known about this before now? I mean, honestly, I feel like for the longest time I didn't really have pores. And then all of a sudden they've hit me like out of nowhere. And it's even kind of like blurring the forehead lines that I have too. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. Oh yes. First impressions. I am shocked. That is like really, really good. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. So we're going to try some foundations. I'm going to try to mix these and let's hope for the best. So this is the L'Oreal infallible total coverage foundation now i think this is going to be too light this is going to be way too dark so i'm going to try to mix them and see how it works out i have the l'oreal pro glow infallible and i love that so it basically says it's 24 hour natural finish mm, we're just going to be having to put a little bit more of that on oh yeah this is way too light for me right there well, maybe not. I'm, I'm pretty tan right now though. Okay, kind of so you can see side by side. There's the light in the dark. This is a shade 307 and 311. Ooh, well mixed on the hand. I mean, it's looking like a... Hmm, it's a little bit too dark, Daniel. I can always go back in and mix some light in. So, I kind of like smeared that out, but... I mean, maybe it's because I like kind of put a lot on, but to me, this looks pretty full coverage. I mean, you know, obviously you can see that I have redness. Let me put some on my nose. Obviously you can see the redness in my nose. I'm just getting rid of that. Covered up the green really well. Well, it says full coverage, but then on the back it says the finish is natural. Oh, I read it wrong. Sorry, guys. This is what a first impression's all about. I'm like, oh my gosh, L'Oreal, what are you calling full coverage if this is not? <laughs> okay. Now I'm back on the page. I can do it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the NARS. This is their creamy concealer. But a little while back, YSO had actually sent me this right here. And this is supposed to be like a radiant touch concealer type product. However, for right now it's way too light for me, so I'm gonna go in with this. Since this is like a darker concealer shade. And then I'm gonna go over top of it with the YSL. Oh, you're getting the best of both worlds. You got a little bit of radiance, a lot of coverage. Went a little heavy on the concealer. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. Okay, here's what the packaging looks like and you just pump up the product you know honestly this is shade 2.5 but I really like the yellow undertone it has in it it kind of reminds me of there's this product I used to use from MAC a while back I can't remember what it was but I used to kind of do the same thing with it Ooh, I think I'm gonna like how these two look mixed together. Yes, I went a little heavy on it, but that's okay. Going in with the Sephora 57, which is like my favorite. Oh, I like how this is looking like mixed together. Because it's giving you some like highlight. But then the NARS is like concealing it. So what I typically have been doing lately, because I have been more tan, so like if I get to this point and I'm looking a little off, I'll just kind of like go like this with my foundation brush and just kind of press everything into the skin. And this is a foundation brush by It Cosmetics and I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. Oh, I'm getting excited, you guys. I feel like this is going to turn out good. Okay, so Too Faced sent over their new setting powder. And I saw another YouTuber say that they like absolutely love this. I'm so excited to try it out. So it is their Born This Way and it's a translucent shade. And it's so cute because it has a little heart right here for it. Ooh, got a little bit more than I needed. Here's this. So you do get a generous amount in the little holes where the heart is. All right, so. Dang. 
I feel like I'm like loving everything in this tutorial right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I'm like up close in this like magnified mirror, but oh my gosh, this makes your skin look like, oh my gosh, I love this. I love it. At first I was a little scared because obviously like as you can see when you first put it on, it looks like it's going to have like a like white cast to it. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Like you see those wrinkles on my forehead? Like let me let me just go through here with this. Blow the wrinkles away, too faced. <laughs> oh yes. I mean they're still there as far as like whenever I do my face like that, but they're not nearly as bad. Oh, I'm excited about this. Okay, so that's the translucent powder by Too Faced. Highly, highly excited about this. And then I also, just to give me a little bit of color, I'm going to kind of go over the few spots that I just touched. I wanted to try the Velvet Powder Base, and this is a mattifying powder by Pop Beauty. I have just been so good about trying to save this stuff and not try it out, but I cannot wait any longer. So here's the shade. This is shade 5 Toffee, and this is what we're going to try today. Oh, you see it has some color to it. Okay. I mean, you can definitely tell on camera, like, I am matte. <laughs> I'm just like very excited about this right now. <laughs> I cannot wait to keep doing more of these tutorials. I need to kind of blend out my eyeshadow a little bit more. And this eyebrow is looking a little bit janky, but I'll be fixing that at the end. I don't have time right now to go <laughs> grab my eyebrow pencil, so just ignore that if you are thinking about it. All right, so next with the powder, I'm actually going to try to use the powder as a bronzer for today. And here is what this shade looks like. And bronze up the face. Oh, I like this shade. And using like an actual setting powder is going to make it look very, very natural. Oh, I'm loving this. I mean, these powders are really pigmented. I mean, I really like them. You do get a good amount of kickback though, but... Normally my bronzer looks kind of patchy sometimes and I'm not getting that feeling at all today. I'm very, very happy with it. So next we're going to be taking this by Terry Sun Designer Palette and this is just, ugh, absolutely gorgeous. I love that you have like really bright colors and then you have more neutral shades. You can use this for like bronzers. Um, I'm going to show you guys probably at some point a everyday makeup routine using some of these shades. We're going to go in ever so lightly with the orange shade for our blush today. And I mean ever so slightly because it packs a punch. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. This is like what I think about when I think of like the perfect bronzy glowy colors would be like oranges and browns. Oh yeah, very, very pretty. Love that. Very blendable shades. I just love these. I'm so obsessed with these palettes. Okay, and the next thing actually came from Kevin Kwan. This came this week. I'm going to try this out on my face. I don't know if it's going to go with the tone of um, the looks for today, but I at least want to go ahead and try it out since it is a first impressions tutorial. So here's what the packaging looks like. This is just so pretty. Like, let me swatch this. So there's that like swatch on the hand. Oh yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and try on the face. I might need to put a little bit of more like a gold tone over it just since this look today is more like bronzy, but like I said, oh, like I said, this is a first impression. So, oh no, I love that. I really do. Okay. Yes, Kevin Aquan. I did not know if I was going to like that with this makeup look, but I really do. Okay. Love this. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. And I always like to kind of massage it back into the skin when I do a highlighter. I'm actually going to go in with this like fire red shade. I believe that is the color Hunts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to go in with another pencil brush that has no product. And just blend this out. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some bottom lash mascara. Okay, there's that. And yeah, I really, really like this mascara for sure. Okay, and then next all we have is lips. I was going to go in with something kind of like a pinker shade. I was wanting to try this shade right here from Ofer Cosmetics. It's called Laguna Beach. And then I have a shade by Girlastic I'm going to try over it called Posh. And I'm not going to do any lashes today. So yeah, that's going to complete my first impressions makeup tutorial. Um, other than my eyebrows and this janky wing on the side. <laughs> I actually really, really liked all of the products. I mean, the Jaclyn Hill palette did blend out really good. I wasn't a super duper fan of that blue. Just because like you guys saw, it didn't really go on until I put a lot of Fix Plus on it. And then the mascara. I love the mascara so much. I loved all of the face products. Like... The YSL Primer, amazing, blurred my pores, and then the Too Faced really shocked me. I think that's going to be like my new setting powder, honestly, like my new favorite. And then I really did like the Pop Beauty powders. I like them as a all-over powder. I love them as a bronzer. I thought they looked really, really pretty on the skin. You guys already know I love the Terry palette. Like, I knew I was going to love that one. And then the Kevin Aquan highlighter, like seriously, pleasantly surprised me. And then as far as the lipsticks, <laughs> you guys know I love the Ofra lipsticks. But yeah, so anyways, that is going to complete my look today. So I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.